Never change. Dustin Henderson. Promise me? He has such a brilliant kind of arc. He is so empathetically written. You're kind of a bit perturbed and a bit put off by him initially. And then slowly, as he's ingratiated into the gang, the writing really kind of makes him, I don't know, there's, there's some, something that, that kind of people warm to. It's a tragedy when people that we love leave us. Mr. Munson, he's, he's a hero. I would have loved to have come back, yeah, but, um, you know, the, um, the grown-ups decide. <laughs> ah! I wouldn't remember me either, Chrissy. <laughs> Honestly. Um, I have stuff in my hair. <laughs> She had to feel safe enough with him to go back to his trailer. Um, and he's a pretty kind of intimidating guy when we first meet him. So I think kind of it made sense for, for there to be some kind of romantic intrigue there. And to also spark Mason's character, Jason's kind of suspicion. It felt like the right the right way to, to go there, I think. Chrissy, this is from you. Come on! What, to hang out with you and Eddie the Freak Munson? Uh, yeah, I'll pass. You're just jealous because I have another older male friend. <sighs> that was kind of the thing I was most kind of daunted about. Yeah, kind of, that I found most daunting. Kid worships you, dude. Like, you have no idea. It's kind of annoying. People love that dynamic. They're so brilliant at kind of bouncing off each other. Being the kind of his side Joe, <laughs> as it were. I didn't know how kind of people were going to respond to that because that felt like a pretty kind of closed game. Um, but they were so brilliant and welcoming and um, it ended up being one of the things that I enjoyed most about the whole experience. <laughs>